Hey guys and welcome back to another part of the MyCloud, Western Digital MyCloud EX2 um, overview, review. In this video what we will be checking is the speed tests and the function modes of the RAIDs. Uh, the RAIDs, sorry, RAID 0, RAID 1, speed tests of, of uh, both of them and um, how JBOD works and how spanning uh, works and speed tests of uh, those functions. So without further ado, if we go to the home screen, you can check that I already um, change it to RAID 0. I will not be working with RAID 0. I would not advise anyone to work with RAID 0 on this, uh, on this device or any other device that is used for storage um, or backups. <laughs> but uh, on my case storage, I will be using RAID 1, but um, let's see here how the speed uh, works first we're going to do a synthetic benchmark with uh, the this uh, speed test uh, from black magic design uh, and what i'm going to do is i'm going to compare it as well with my book live which is a previous generation of um, not this device but of the my cloud so let's select the drive um, let's go first to um, to he was asleep so let's wake him up to <laughs> my book live okay he's awake now and let's go to this folder here it's okay and if we start the speed test we will see that it goes about 30 megs on right and about 50 on read so Although these speeds don't, uh, well, don't excite a lot, uh, I've been pretty happy transferring files to the My Book Live. Uh, so I can't complain about that. And if these uh, speeds are okay, um, so this one here, just a spoiler alert, is a bit faster. Uh, so select target, let's go to our my cloud ex2 and let's select just the public folder okay and start speed test so now we go above um, this is on read raid uh, zero we go above uh, 70 megs on write and 70 on read and then sometimes it goes a bit lower but these are the numbers that uh, you can expect so uh, from a point of view of a consumer level two generations previous uh, network uh, attached storage you can expect the double of uh, the speed which is quite quite um, nice so this is regarding a synthetic let's uh, let's stop this and move this aside and now let's do a real transfer to my cloud and let's go to the public or let's go to the yeah public disk speed test doesn't matter uh, I'm gonna bring this um, which is 2.2 .2, uh, gigabytes and the actually the the my cloud on the interface was uh, seeing 2.1 but nonetheless let's place it and you will see how fast um, it goes giving me a right speed of and this is not a synthetic benchmark it's a real benchmark so uh, and this is the average size of files that I work with. Uh, once I finish the project, I've got all the parts cut off. Um, and this is what I save the final product of uh, whatever it's for me or for a client. Um, this is the average size, two, three, four gigabytes of size. So I just place it there. I leave it. And one month later, two months, one year, when necessary, I go and I'm still making a test over here with disk speed test. Don't know if that's affected or not. Just to take, let's see if the the transfer speeds. Okay, so now the transfer speed lowered to 30 megs a second. 36, 34. I don't know if this affected or not. I was running the Black Magic speed test on the side. Let's cancel this. Let's 
bring this again. Okay, let's close black magic. Yeah, it was affecting the speeds as we can see. So what you ex can expect from uh, rate zero is this kind of speeds here and uh, which I'm not going to be using once again rate zero uh, but just so you have an idea you will not wait long uh, you will probably have this kind of speeds on a laptop 500 uh, 5400 rpm you will have this kind of uh, speeds here so now uh, let's go and go to the device again the interface go to storage and raid so as you can see we are working with raid zero and if we go to change raid mod raid mode uh, we can select okay and we have the gbot configuration this one will be useful in three four years time for me um, when I turn this into a backup solution instead of a storage solution as I'm doing right now uh, which will make two different uh, drives by the way on RAID 0 you will not see any information of how much space you have available here uh, if you want to have um, that kind of information you will have to and uh, let's go to my computer even though you will not have if we go to properties no uh, you will not that information here you will have um, that information available only on uh, let's cancel this uh, only on your interface so let's switch to jbot and I'm gonna press next good good next and next and this will erase everything that you have on the volume so <laughs> be careful when you do that finish this will take um, a little while and if necessary I will cut this video somewhere around now uh, if it's not necessary I'm gonna <laughs> talk to you for a while so for me JBOD will be useful um, when I upgrade from this four terabytes now which is actually eight but uh, when I need more than 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 four um, because it's in RAID 1 uh, let's say that I upgrade for the EX4 as I was saying before I will want a device to back up my EX4 uh, EX4 has a capability of uh, 16 terabytes if we use RAID 5 on that um, you will get around 12 gigabytes so I can use JBOD on this one uh, and back up eight terabytes of data and I will probably use another uh, USB drive or uh, something similar uh, network it doesn't matter I will have to decide then in four years a long time for technology um, so I will be able to use these devices as backup um, just connected to the back of the EX4 at this uh, present moment and um, do that at this moment uh, the raid is formatting the the, the devices and uh, we will check how uh, and let me just select the black magic test so we can test it on jbot but the the way that jbot works is uh, it works as two separated drives as in raid zero uh, the danger is uh, the RAID makes one logical, well, one theoretical drive. Uh, so if one of the physical drives dies, you will lose everything. In JBOD, you will only lose the actual data that's, that is actually on that physical drive. The other physical drive will uh, remain uh, working exactly the, the same. So we have finished changing the raid uh, change now so now we have jbod uh, volume one and volume two let's check here uh, just let's make a refresh <coughs> to see what we can okay so at this point we see exactly the same here uh, 
uh, no differences at all. You will not see, and this is, was one of my questions as well, you will not see uh, two separate devices. You will see one device. So my advice here would be to create a share. Uh, and let's create a new share. Let's say share name, uh, data one, and select volume one now save and as an example data to volume to save okay share name scan blah, 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 blah. what did i uh, data two two and one and eight it cannot contain spaces okay uh, i think the ah okay Data 2, Volume 2, save. Sorry about that. Uh, so now when I go to my, and let's refresh this, I've got Data 1 and Data 2. This means that everything that I put here uh, will be on drive number 1. Everything that I put over here will be on drive number 2. So I will know exactly in which drive I'm placing my data. Uh, so this is one uh, of the advantages of uh, JBOD in this case, uh, which if you lose data one, you will only lose data one. If you lose data two, you will only lose data two. Of course, JBOD will be useful, as I said, and let's um, just check the speed test, uh, will be useful to, um, to me in this case. Uh, data one okay which was just created let's see the speed test okay so we will not see uh, any big increasements of uh, speed or decreasement so well actually we are getting higher read speeds on jbot um, this is curious <laughs> but uh, as you can see 10 megabytes uh, on read speeds um, now Okay, 80. Okay, so we have about 10 megabytes of increased speed on the read sides, and read is important when you are streaming media for a lot of devices. As I said before, with my book live, only 30 megabytes a second, I was streaming for three devices, and it works fine. Just depends on your network as, uh, also. So uh, let's stop uh, disk speed test, and I'm going to close it, and let's do the same example here. Uh, open this data one so I'm going to write only to my drive number one here and write speeds is about uh, 60 70 uh, megabytes per second okay so we can close this um, no point in wasting your time let's move on to let's go to the storage RAID and uh, change RAID mode okay so now spanning will be um, similar to JBOD but you will only have one volume uh, so you'll not be able to do that what we did uh, selecting volume 1 and volume 2 uh, you will only have one volume available so the example that I did with data 1 and data 2 you will not be able to do it so it will only see one uh, volume although there are two physical volumes um, the advantage or disadvantage I don't know is that it will be well it's more a disadvantage uh, you will use the eight terabytes but if you lose one drive you will lose everything as you do on RAID 0 at least that's my understanding of the spanning uh, I don't see any other way that uh, this could save data in case of failure of OneDrive. So I'm not going to go with spanning. Uh, I will go to directly to RAID 1 and switch next and drive 1, drive 2, good, next, okay. Uh, you can specify RAID size. Yeah, I'm going to leave it as um, default. Next, auto reveal this section will be ready if it becomes corrupted. Enable auto reveal to automatically reveal the right once the disk is recognized. I will not make auto rebuild. I will leave this uh, option off. If I need it to, I, I can enable. So next, next, and next. And switch to RAID 1. Finish. Okay. Um, 
<clears throat> so if this takes a bit while I will cut the video once again here if it doesn't um, I will just keep on talking to you uh, jbod as I was saying will be useful spanning uh, I wouldn't use that I prefer to have the, the two drives uh, even if I'm using this as a backup I prefer to have the two drives and I know exactly what I'm putting on drive number one and what I'm putting exactly on drive number two this will give us a bit of work while you are uh, figuring out the way that you make your backups uh, especially if you have scheduled uh, backups or even if they are manual um, you can hear the noise of the drive spinning really fast and formatting the, <laughs> the drives um, so jbod it's a plus for me uh, raid one is a plus for me raid zero and spanning uh, I, I, I cannot see the use of that uh, only let's say that you don't have important data on the device well in that case yeah use either one if you don't mind losing the data that is there pff, use either one it doesn't matter for me um, spending money on a device like this only to keep my important data uh, if it's not very important I could just I don't know not even bother to 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 storage or back it up just send it to the trash uh, so I guess that if you're going for a device like this you are um, storaging important files for you whether you are a, a personal or a small company um, and we have the raid mode already set uh, I hope I didn't bore you too much okay so everything healthy auto rebuild uh, rebuild sorry is off uh, we can turn this on I leave it off by default uh, and what we're gonna do as well is to see the speed test of of this um, um, of this yeah, okay uh, of this raid mode which is raid one which is the one I'm going to use let's select the target drive as as the disk that we want to test and my cloud x2 and public yeah okay and let's start the speed test okay so if you ask me is there any advantage on RAID 0 to RAID 1 in terms of speed? To be honest, no. This is not the first time. Uh, before I, I before I selected the RAID 0, I did the test on RAID 1. I, I was happy because I had the double of the performance of my old uh, my book life. Um, and now I'm getting the double in here on the my cloud EX2. Um, and I don't notice much of a dis difference from RAID 0 from to RAID 1. So the only thing that I can see that you are going for RAID 0 is to have the 8 terabytes available uh, to store the data. For speed, there's no advantage. It's theoretically, and I used RAID 0 uh, about 4 years ago, I used RAID 0 on my computers uh, to have a better performance and I did notice better performance increments. Here on this box, I don't see the difference on speed from one to another. Let's close this and make one final test to our EX4. Um, Let's go to the public and just bring our file again and see how it goes. Okay, so around 60s, almost 70s uh, transferring speed. Once again, I will have to re reinforce this. I just use this for storage, backing up there. I also use for one, one another thing, which is transfer files from my Mac to my Windows PC. Um, I find it useful for me. I have a folder there named Exchange, and when I place there something, it's whether I'm going to use it on the Mac, or if I'm using the Mac, I'm going to use it on the Windows. Uh, I find that very uh, useful for me. But um, either than that, I just use it for storage, 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 that's it. So. This speed, per, uh, this speed for me, it's okay. Finish a project of a client, just place it there and go have a drink of water. Maybe when I come back, uh, 45 seconds, one minute, two minutes later, the file is there, just okay. And then on Sunday, backup is made 
and I have two files. If something happens between um, Wednesday and Sunday, that be that will be a, a danger. But um, as I have two drives now, I'm working with RAID. I'm a bit more safe than I was uh, with only a single drive. Okay, guys. So I think I didn't forgot anything here um, on the raids. Uh, let's just check if we talked about everything. Yeah, spanning RAID 0 is RAID 1 and there's nothing else. We, we don't have any other options. Uh, on the EX4, you will have uh, RAID 5 and RAID 10. RAID 5 will be great. RAID 10 with only four drives, it will work. But I think it's not the, the, the most efficient way uh, to do RAID, RAID 10. Uh, but anyway, it's available on the EX4. On this case, RAID 0, RAID 1, JBOD and uh, spanning. So I think I've talked more than I should. Uh, this uh, topic is covered. Next, I will talk about, and we will see how the backup works. I will make a test here and share with you that backup. Um, the backup will be to the, the USB pen drive and we will see how it works. And I expect that uh, it works as well as I'm thinking. And then on the last one, I will talk about my how do I make my storage and my backup? What is my backup plan? What is my uh, critical backup plan when one device fails? Because one thing is for sure, everything fails. Um, and we have to assume that. Uh, so that being said, guys, sorry for the <laughs> for this long, long uh, video, 22 minutes, something like that. I will probably cut it somewhere around the middle. Uh, if it was helpful, please thumbs up. If it not, just next to it. <laughs> thumbs down and once again thanks for watching my name is Roberto George bye bye